ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, the 14th day of January. The long-advertised Arctic blast is almost here. It will happen tomorrow and set the stage for maybe the coldest air we have seen in six years. Let's go right to some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. There's a look at the uh, lights of the city of Gadsden coming from the uh, Skycam there on top of Lookout Mountain. It's cold out this morning now. We're way down in the 20s. Down in uh, Chilton County, there's the Clanton City Hall. And again, uh, they are in the 20s there. And pretty much the same deal for Tuscaloosa. Some of the colder spots north of Birmingham are actually in the upper teens this morning. Here's a water vapor satellite shot. The gates to the Yukon are open. A warm 588 ridge over the northern coast of California, pumping the ridge up to Alaska. That's pushed the cold air out of there, and now we are going to have to deal with it. Here's a look at the numbers early this morning. It's uh, about 15 below zero up in the Canadian border, but again, the uh, 25 below zero air is about to uh, head south. And really, these contours are not doing a great job because some parts up in Minnesota are down to 40-something below zero. But the, all of that rushes south, and uh, tomorrow is going to be a pretty cold day down here. Uh, watch warning map. We've got some winter weather advisories up north for snow and blowing snow. But around here, we'll be dry uh, with this air coming in. And there's the QPF map. This is valid through Sunday evening. This is suggesting nothing. And again, now Sunday, there could be a little light rain or light snow here, but like we've talked about for days, we don't expect it to be a big deal. This is the uh, 06E GFS valid at noon today at 500 millibars, about 18,000 feet off the ground. There's your cold air delivery pattern, but tomorrow is the day we go in the deep freeze. Big trough over the east down below that, a 1,044 millibar high between Omaha and Des Moines. It will be windy. Uh, we think the high will be in the mid-30s. The wind chill index in the Birmingham metro could drop to zero at times. Maybe sub-zero wind chills. In fact, that's likely up over the Tennessee Valley of extreme north Alabama. It's going to be a tough day out there. Friday morning, we think the bottom drops out. Uh, almost all of the guidance uh, right in line with our thinking. We've all along talked about lows for most areas between 10 and 15. No need to change that. Colder valleys, 4 to 9 degrees. The uh, ridge tops up in the inversion layer, upper teens, but everybody with a damaging freeze Friday morning will call for a midpoint low of 12. And if that's right, that'll be the coldest temperature for Birmingham since uh, January 24th of 2003, about six years ago. Now, Friday's going to be a cold day, but not windy, and the sun's out. should, you know, be more... Uh, not as raw. And then uh, Saturday, I think Saturday morning could be just as cold. We go way down uh, in the teens, uh, maybe 10 to 15 again. But Saturday will begin to moderate during the day with highs up in the uh, uh, 40s. And then Sunday, here comes that strong feature that uh, Vortmax you see there coming down through Kentucky and Tennessee. And that might squeeze out a little light rain or a little light snow. In fact, uh, the guidance looking a little colder here for Sunday, suggesting maybe more snowflakes. But, again, the moisture is just not there. So we're sure not going to, you know, hit that hard. It's just a chance and nothing beyond that and shouldn't pose any problems. And then Monday of next week still looks pretty cold. Uh, quite frankly, I think we might be too warm in our forecast based on that after that Vortmax passes. And there's Tuesday of next week. Again, that's going to be a cold morning, but we'll probably start to moderate Tuesday afternoon couple of peaks out there into voodoo country as we do some trolling here. This is the 25th of January. That's a cold vortex over Canada still. And that's a still a very cold look for the uh, United States, really. Uh, around here, that's a 1,036 millibar high uh, between Memphis and St. Louis. So, um, you know, even though the NAO might be flipping, it doesn't mean we're going to warm up into some kind of tropical regime here. And then at the uh, end of the forecast period on the 29th, uh, the flow is more zonal there. And uh, down below that, uh, maybe a little rain. But uh, uh, again, I think the, the overall trend will be for some moderation over the latter half of the month. No doubt the coldest air we're going to see this month is tomorrow 
and Friday and Saturday mornings. So get ready. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on our blog, alabamawx.com. If you're watching this on YouTube or iTunes, the next video here by 3.30 or so today. And, of course, we invite you to watch us on television this evening, ABC 3340 News at 5, 6, and 10. And thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.